Okay, great. Now we have the uh, topogra topography. It's in its place, and we've loaded the geological map. Now, I think that most of you are going to be geologists, and they're familiar with the geological maps. So, but let me uh, do that quickly and explain what does this geological map tells us. So the obvious thing, we can see that there's an offset in here, which means that we have a fault that crosses all the different layers. Now, also we can see that we have three different layers in here, and but which one is the youngest and which one is the oldest? Well, that's obvious from the stratigraphic pile in here. We can see the oldest, which is on the bottom, which is the green one. This is the oldest. This one is in the mid and then comes the youngest one and we have a fault. Now also other than the contact data between the different formations we can have also we have uh, a dip and a dip direction information so we know that this one is dipping on this side with a 45 degrees angle that's great and also we have the same values for the fault itself. This is going to be a big help for us. So the first thing that we need to do is to define these three uh, formations. Tell Geomodeler that we have three uh, different layers. Now we go to geology we are, because we are integrating geology right now and go to formations manage and we create these different formations. So we are going to call it the same, so we're going to call it the youngest and we are going to choose a red color, click on OK and add and then we are going to, uh, I'm going to call this like uh, mid, which is the middle one and we are going to choose a blue color for that and add that and now we are going to call this the oldest and we are going to give it a green color and click on OK and add that to there. Now we, when we click on close, Geomodeler is going to tell us there are new formations, do you want to define the stratigraphic pile? You can do that later but you can do that now, now also. So we click on yes, let's start stratigraphic pile editor. Okay, now we have a really important thing in here. This is the reference. You see that we have the top and the bottom. Now later on when we are going to digitize the different contact informations, we have two options. Either we define, I mean we digitize the top of each formation or the bottom of each formation. So for example, see this one, the, the, the middle formation in here? So this one is the top of the middle formation, but it is at the same time the bottom of the youngest formation, the red one. So we, when we digitize this, we need to define it either the top of this formation or the bottom of this formation. Not, this, not both of them at the same time. So, this is, so in here we choose whether we are going to digitize the bottom of formations only or the top of the formations only okay okay now in my case I always tend to choose the bottom of the formations okay so we are going to digitize the bottom of the formations now we define what we call series sometimes you have two formations that are in the same series or they are like for example you have the age that in, we're talking in millions of years and you have different small you know units that are all in the same uh, age so we call that series inside GeoMother. Now in our case because our model is very simple we are going to define a series for each one of these formations so this one we're gonna call the uh, youngest series, the oldest series and the middle series so there's another thing here which is the relationship we have two different relationships the onlap relationship and the erode relationship now if you have an intrusive body, for example, that goes from the bottom and erodes everything going to the top, then the relationship between that intrusive body 
with the different uh, layers of formation is erode. But in our case, it's very simple and we are going to use on lab. Okay, so we click on commit and then the oldest, oldest theory, the on lab relationship and commit and relationship and commit. Okay, I'm going to uh, close this now. Now we have all the different series in here that contains the different formations, but which one is on the bottom? It is the oldest one, so we move that down. This one is in the middle, this one is the youngest one, and that's about right. Okay, so now GeoModeler, actually, if we go to Geology and go Stratigraphic Pile Visualize, we can see that this is actually our stratigraphic pile. This is the oldest one, the mid one, and the youngest one. Okay, this is actually what we call the stratigraphic pile, and now we are able to define that on 2D and get that to be interpolated in 3D and we are going to see that in the next video.